In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add RSS feeds to your Bisplay pages. RSS feeds are used by websites that have newsworthy facts to report, like CNN.com, blogs, or uh, websites with, for example, traffic jam information. So, how do you add these to your Bisplay pages? Well, first you have to find the web address for the particular RSS feeds you like to show. And in this case, uh, it's often found in the top half of uh, a website or all the way in the bottom. And as you can see here, it says RSS right here. And if I click it, it'll take me to a list of RSS feeds actually. And let's say I want the RSS feeds with uh, top stories. And I click this. And here you see all the top stories for today. And when I select this, address on the top here and right click and say copy this. I can then paste this into my RSS app from my display page. Let's add a display page right here. Here's the RSS app and when I drag this onto my page I can paste the address of the RSS feed in and when I press reload right here it will after a second time I press it, it will start to show me each news item in that RSS feed each time I click it. So each time I click it, it advances to the next news item that's in the feed. Currently it only shows me the header of the news item, but I can also include content if I like. So if I click it now, you can see that it refreshes every time I click it. So when I save this, go back to the dashboard and put this into a playlist, for example, I can see what that looks like. And what you'll see is that it shows the first news item in the feed. And then when the page transitions, it will show the next one. So there you go. Now there's another way of presenting an RSS feed and that's not in uh, the form of this uh, single article but you can also show it in a ticker form like this let's see let's make it all the way white like this and when i refresh this it will start to scroll from the right to the left and i can add even a second one if i like and let's say i'd like to add a uh, this one for traffic conditions from New York. I can copy this and paste this in, add some content if I like. And make this a little bit bigger even. And oh. there we go, this is how I like it. Oh, this is a single message form. I have to, there we go. This is ticker form, and as you can see, you now have two tickers rolling across your screen. And on each page transition, that will also keep on rolling like you'd expect it to do. There you go. That just keeps on rolling continuously, and every time a new um, news items come in, it will add those to this particular ticker stream. stream. Um, it can be really useful to uh, use those tickers as a, in a background page. Uh, if you haven't, don't know what background pages are, please look up the video for background pages and see how that works. And let me demonstrate that shortly here. Say I have this, back, this page. I can say, let me use that one ticker page as my background page. And then, for example, I can add other stuff like this image right here. And what will happen is this way, if I use this background page through all my pages, it will all, uh, always keep on scrolling by the particular news messages from uh, the feeds that I've configured. So let's set this to four as well. Save this preview and here we go. So it starts without that image this is the first page and the second page comes up and as you can see it just keeps on scrolling the news messages on the top there so that can be a really useful feature if you just want to have those tickers on your screen all the time just put them in a background page 
So I hope that you like the feature. Uh, please uh, experiment with it. Uh, if you have any questions, you know where to find us on our website or via email. Good luck with it.